an exhibit of the work of the first year students of the Bachelor in Communication and Digital Media. They've been asked to present some self-representation in relation to social media. and for my self-identity project, I used a popular Instagram trend of before and after and I applied it to my identity and I applied it to how I use social media. So the one picture is before where I have a lot of makeup on my face and the after picture is me, how I naturally am, how you see me on everyday life. I chose to make a portrait of myself. Different things that represent my identity come out of my body. There are cameras, lenses, and everything related to football and filmmaking, which is basically my life. Deadpool is uh, supposed to be a funny movie and you go there to laugh and have fun and enjoy it, but people don't really see the other side of the picture. I wanted to show that there is so much more to what people see and there is so much more than what people show. There is another side and everyone has that one. Every single person. This is a collage I created that combines uh, pictures of me when I was younger and pictures of me as an adult. And it represents my Arab culture. Um, I'm originally Palestinian. Since I'm an Arab woman, I decided to show the beauty of the Arab culture, like dance, um, uh, female empowerment, uh, the different uh, tribes, different patterns, and just to uh, show my identity as an Arab. What I did with my project was compare the pictures that are Instagram worthy, with the, one, which the ones that are in reality who you are, and like the real life scenarios that happen. Here I try to represent myself through the eyes of media. It expresses like the dual side of my being, which is partly like my true self, and part like my artistic self which is pretty much the same person. Life is a journey, and this journey is made beautiful by people we surround ourselves with. The idea behind my portrait is to show me as a person, but when you look closely, it's all my friends and family, everyone who has been a part of my life. And I wanted to portray here what someone would always post in social media and what we would never post. So this is a critique of social media, and at the end, as a conclusion, I've deleted it until I decide why I want to have it. 